Hey guys, um, I'm Craig from uh, Hardcore Metal Detecting Radio, and me and uh, Derek Asgar do the uh, show, and uh, we've switched to uh, 9 p.m. because uh, Derek's working in uh, Alabama now, and we're not going to be doing the Monday show for a while. But uh, tune in tonight and uh, at uh, 9 p.m. and check us out. Um, I've had a pretty good year this year. Uh, I uh, bought another metal detector and uh, got this uh, Amphibia Multi wireless. And I got three coils. I got two small coils and uh, the 11 inch coil that comes with it. <clears throat> I've been doing good with the uh, Equinox with the uh, six inch coil. Highly recommend the six inch coil. It uh, really works good, especially in the trash and uh, nails. And uh, right now we're having some really bad weather. We've had uh, nine inches of snow and then it's been freezing at night down below, uh, sometimes in the you know, teens and stuff. So right now it's kind of drizzling. I don't know if you can hear it off my skylight or not, but uh, the uh, it's hovering around 34 degrees right now, so I'm hoping they don't get any more snow. All right, guys, have a good one. This is some of the uh, finds I made in the yard this week, this year, and uh, I had a fair amount of bullets, considering I've uh, been hunting this yard for th over three and a half years now. <clears throat> but the uh, Amphibio and the uh, Mine Lab with the six inch coil uh, has really been uh, picking up a lot of good stuff. Right down here, I found a spot in my yard. It appears to have been another house site or cabin. And this is a strange thing. It's uh, It looks like almost like a monkey on one side or a man, maybe Maybe see no evil, hear no evil. Not sure, but it, people think it's a door knocker. <clears throat> and right, right next to it, I found this, which it looks like a keyhole. And uh, I got this about maybe I don't know, ten or eleven inches away. This was down about nine or ten inches deep. So one thing about the Amphibio, it uh, you can actually uh, discriminate iron. This red four on the Musi, that's worked iron. And I also got this little uh, suspender clip in that same area. Um, probably one of my best finds was this uh, little brooch. I'm not sure what kind of stone it's in it, but. Uh, what it looks like on the back. I cleaned it up pretty good. This is another little piece that I found. Looks like it, uh, something broke off of it, but it's kind of a stone with some, uh, maybe gold filigree or something on it. A couple of eagle buttons over here, some flat buttons. Didn't get a lot of coins, uh, but I, I did get a few here. I've dug over 150 coins in the yard. So uh, a lot of them are in the front yard, right along the sidewalk in the fence. All right, guys. Oh, what, one other thing. I got this, this uh, wooden handled knife. And I picked up that brass piece on the end. It was straight up and down in the hole at 10 or 11 inches. And I got it with the Amphibio. And this iron buckle. This is kind of funny. I uh, set the machine down to ground balance. And, and it was indiscriminate. And it made an overload signal. And I, this is an area that I'd hunted a lot. I dug almost every signal and uh, 
This was just about a half an inch down in the ground. It's an old iron spoon handle. So um, check out those overload signals. It might be something good. All right, guys. Hey guys, I've been having trouble with my Camry, so I uh, I had it for 19 years. So I just bought this uh, RAV4 2021 XLE. So uh, I'll be making some more trips. I haven't been really going too far because of the condition of my other car. So now I'll be able to <clears throat> take some trips and go metal detecting. I got one guy down. Uh, Stafford County area of Virginia that uh, just got a house and he's uh, invited me down. So uh, I'll be doing that at some point. But it's so cold right now and it's like 33 degrees, right about <laughs> almost uh, snow or ice. So uh, happy new year and I'll talk to you guys later.